Okay, so where we left off before is we have a player that can move around. If I hit the space bar, he can jump. That's about all we have. So one of the things that we're looking to add to this is our player can move left, right, up and down, and he can jump. However, we can't see what's to the left or the right of them. We can only see uh, what's directly in this angle right here. So what we're going to do today is make it so that our player can rotate and that we can look around the world with that. So we should be able to look both left and right as well as we should be able to look up and down. First thing we need to do is get the mouse input so that we can mess with the direction of this. So before we can do this, we need to have a place where we can store the rotation for both the Y and the X. So let's go in here and we'll just type in a float rotate y rot y set that equal to zero and float rot x equals zero so in the update what we're going to do is get the mouse axis we're going to take the mouse movement and translate that into our rotation for both the y and the x axis so how that looks is rot y will equal rot y plus, so we'll just shorthand that by saying plus equal, input dot get axis. And that axis is going to be called mouse x. Now that's super confusing and I understand that. The reason why we're doing this is remember the left and right movement of our mouse is on the x-axis of our mouse. It's from side to side. However, if we go back into our game and we look what in what direction he's rotating around, he is rotating around the y-axis. So our mouse is moving left to right in physical space, so that's the x-axis, and when it's moving left to right, we want our player to rotate around the y-axis. So we'll do that, and we'll also say rot x, well, plus equal the input of get axis mouse y and the mouse y is the up and down of the mouse just in case you haven't seen this shorthand before basically all it is saying is rot x equals rot x plus input dot get axis mouse y so these two th these two statements here and here are exactly the same. We just we just took this and got rid of that by just adding a plus there. So it's just a shorthand way of writing it. All right, now that we have that, all we have to do is add that rotation to our player. So how we do rotations inside unity or math in general is we want our players transform because we remember the rotation is a part of the transform and we're going to look at its local rotation so the rotation that is local to the player is going to equal a quaternion which is how we represent rotations within Unity. And we're going to be using Euler angles, which is just to say that we're using a degree of rotation from zero to 360. And then it'll be the rotation of the Y. It'll be the rotation sorry. And then in the X and the Y, it'll be the rotation of the X and then the rotation of the Y and then for the Z we're just gonna leave that alone we don't want them toppling over to the side all right let's just play with that and see what happens all right you can see that we can move left and right and the rotation is being adjusted up here inside the transform property if I keep moving my mouse to the right You can see it auto adjusts and keeps going, but also we can look all the way up and down, which means that we can look all the way through 
the world, which isn't great. If this is a rotation around the x-axis, let's say that we want to limit it negative 20 to positive 20. So how we limit that rotation is we apply a math function. So the math function we're going to do is going to be on the x rotation. We are going to do what's called a clamp operation. We're going to clamp each side so that it can't go past the value that we want. So how we write that is by saying rot x equals math. Math is just a, co a collection of fairly common math functions dot clamp. You can see it's probably the most popular one that everyone uses. And we'll say the value that we're going to use is going to come from rotation of the x. And then we'll clamp it between negative 20 and 20. All right, let's give that a shot. You can see I can't go past negative 20 no matter how much I try. 20, negative 20. Perfect. So now I have my player that can move, but here I'm looking to the side and I'm pressing the W key, the forward, and he's moving to the side. So it doesn't matter where we're looking, our player still will only move in the forward or sideways directions as it is seen from the world, not from the player's perspective. So we have to update our new player rotation to be able to move in the direction that we actually want him to move in. It's actually fairly simple to do. We're gonna go into our update right here and we have our player input. And that has our horizontal as well as our vertical axis. And then our times 10 just to make it so that it moves a little bit faster. So what we need to do here is do a little bit of math to this beyond just multiplying it by 10. So to make this a little bit easier, what I'm going to do is create a storage holder for this horizontal and vertical axis. So we'll say float in X, so the input for X. We'll just put that in here. And float in Y. We're going to put that in there. Sorry, that's the Z axis. Float in Z. And that'll equal our Z or vertical rotation. And now we have to figure out what direction the player is uh, facing. We can get rid of this. And that is we don't need it anymore. So now we have to come up with the direction that the player is facing and then move them in that direction. So because we're getting this in three dimensions, X, Y, and Z, this will be a vector three. Call it direction or dir for short. So what we're going to do is start work, working on the up and down and left and right motion first before we worry about the y axis. So what that'll look like is player dot transform dot right, which if we look at our player is the axis that is towards the right of them. So looking up and down kind of like this. We're going to multiply that by in X. So our horizontal motion. So it'll rotate around this right axis. Then we're going to deal with the player dot transform dot forward. The forward is the blue axis. Blue axis is this guy times in Y. Now we deal with the Y, dir dot Y, 
equals clear dot velocity in the y direction. Now, this math will get us there. All we have to do is say equals dir. Can look. And now our guy rotates I want and he'll go in that direction. And with that, we finished up our player's moving script. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to find more content just like this. If you think this can help other people, please share it. In the next video, we're going to be going over how to give our player a little bit more personality and dressing them up just a bit. And we'll start building out a little bit of a world. Until then, keep building cool stuff and I'll see you in the next video.